Hello everybody, Huge Dev here, and this isn't Stardew Valley. And in this land, oh God, this is Dark Souls. Hello everybody, and welcome to Dark Souls. So, I figured I'd play this for a little bit, yeah, see if you guys wanted to watch me get my butt handed to me time and time again. And, uh... Yeah, let's let's see how this goes. This is your fate. I am looking great. Thanks, man. I could use some company. So, the first time I actually played Dark Souls, uh, the first one at the very least, uh, I picked a a pyromancer, which hardly ever really used pyromancies. Uh, they're not actually super useful. What's up, dude? Right. They're not actually super useful. They will get you out of a bind from time to time, but they're not actually as useful as many would, well, as the game would make it seem. Because when I was uh, playing through it, once I figured out that just a standard sword and shield could do more than you know, what your fire magic allowed for, I pretty much stopped using my pyromancies. <laughs> Woohoo, rest at that bonfire. <laughs> Let's see. I just, through the door? Right, I don't think I can open that gate. Through the door? Just let me know if you want me to uh, go back to Stardew Valley or continue playing this. I know you're up there. You can't lie to me. There you are, you little piece of crap. I'm not going to even try to fight him Ow. right now. I could. I could probably fight him. I'd probably die a bunch of times and I'd probably eventually win. But I'm going to just do it the standard way because I'm a pansy that doesn't want to deal with you know, dying all that, all those times. And I'd still want to go through here to get the items. Don't you... Okay, need to equip that. There we go. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't even need the shield, though. Not for this guy. I can't hurt him. There we go. So this time I actually picked a uh, a deprived because I just kind of felt like it. Suck it. They have the most balanced uh, traits of all the characters. Like all of them are balanced at eleven. What? Oh gee, I wonder what's up these stairs. God, this game's an a-hole. You can avoid that, I just didn't. Oh, you. You're not hollow. Thank goodness. Really? I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both on the Sure. I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There's an old saying in my family, Thou who art undead art chosen, and thy exodus from the undead asylum make a pilgrimage to the land of ancient glory. When thou ringest the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more 
take it to eat an Estes fly, an undead favorite. Uh, oh, good thing they realize you probably get hit and need help. Now I must be so much. I'll hate to harm you after death. Can I have your sword then? So go now. Can I have your sword? No, I must be full of hate and rest. I'm gonna drink this right in front of you. No, I'm full of hate. Well, guess rest. not. You can kill him and take all of his stuff, but that's rude. I don't want to do that. I really mean. I wonder if there's a way to break this. Nope. So I'm going to be going through this game. I'll probably get some armor eventually and... Oh my god. What? Okay. Why you gotta be like that? Screw you. I don't have any armor. Please, be nice. Is there anything down here? Oh, hello, buddy. <laughs> Give me your stuff. Or just get jiggy with it. God, it important. Don't I have the skeleton key? I can't open that with that? Lame. This is going to be a challenge. Or not. Oh boy. Okay, maybe it will. I have to remember, I have absolutely no armor. Stay close to him. Just ram on his leg. I dodge rolled. How dare you? Die. I just clubbed his leg a few times. Where are my souls? Where oh, there are my souls. Uh, right, I believe there's a bonfire out this way. I've got a nice butt. <laughs> and you guys are going to be staring at it this entire time. Does it say anything? Oh my god, look at this. Eggs. <laughs> That's a fairly nicely sized nest. I'm betting that all of you have either seen or played Dark Souls by now, so I'm assuming that there's no spoilers in this for you. <laughs> I mean, the game has been out for years. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall That's a big damn crow. In pilgrimage. That is a big crow. To the land of the ancient lords. Lord 
Now, this just might be me, but personally, I wouldn't, as somebody who is undead, I would not trust myself in the care of something that eats the dead. But I guess it worked out for me, so... Cool. Let's level up. A little vitality. Endurance. Uh, maybe strength, then. Dexterity would be good, though. <clears throat> this is why... Okay, I'll just level up more as I go on. Hi, individual that I've just met. You have here. You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. They could be undead, right? Well, How could you tell? But there's no salvation here. You have done better for not giving undead asylum. So, too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Bring them both and something happens. Bring your trap. Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, what you know? It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Okay, so I've been told that if you actually talk to him a few more times, he'll be more specific. Oh, you place. You are practically hollow. I don't know. No hollow could sound quite a bit. <laughs> so, I just want to check and you see. What? Restoring your humanity? Why, well, there are a few ways to go about it. Connect it with bodies <sighs> and corpses. Or you can button up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity, coveting that maybe it's only human after all. <laughs> what a tool. What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. So yeah, if you talk to him more, he actually gives you more specific directions as to how to go there. Not that it really helps you, and I just got three humanity from that, but it's kind of a waste to use humanity right now because it just lets people come into my area. What was that chest already grabbed? What? Who took my chest? Somebody touched my chest. Dang it. I was hoping to get some stuff from that. Uh, I could go to the graveyard real quick. And get some weapons there. If I can remember which way that is. And I believe it's over to the left. Isn't it? Yeah, it's over here. Just a small little graveyard. Watch out for skeletons. I don't do enough damage yet for these guys. Oh boy. Uh huh. Stop. Nope. No. Ho 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 ho. Oh, 
Oh god. I don't like that they cause bleed damage. <clears throat> Dexterity actually would have been a good one because it would have given me more stamina. Ow, you tool. Oh god. No, 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 no. Stop that. I missed. Ah. Uh, so yeah, these guys kind of teach you how to freaking parry. Crap. Why did why did my Crap! Yeah, I'm not strong enough to deal with the skeletons yet. <laughs> that is a problem. Shoulda ran. Well, I gotta go get my souls now. Dang it. I thought that I could go through there and just quickly grab... Uh, just quickly take out the enemies, but the last time I came through here, I had the Dark Knight Sword, and so I was kind of really powerful. And now I just I just have a stick. So Yeah. I guess I'll just go to Undeadburg. I mean that is where you get the uh Dark Knight sword. If you can beat that guy. Hello Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Palamon. Have you business with us? If not I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Us? Hello there. I realize that I have requested that you retain your distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in any way. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Yeah, I got a copper coin. <laughs> I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. Yep. Absolutely certain this is not where I'm supposed to go. But there's a lost soul of an undead here. And I want that. Alright. Now, where was... There are the stairs. I don't like this stick. I want an actual sword that swings around. Hey, do you have an actual sword? Holy crap! Got the freaking flash over here. So this is actually a place where I would have used my fire had I picked Pyromancer. Because I don't like the guy throwing the fire bombs. Come here. Okay, I'm going to take him out before... Excuse me. I'm going to take him out before I go and deal with any of that. Oh my god, don't you dare die. Oh my god. Excuse me? Two of you? Aha! Okay. <sighs> Need a little drinky drink. Isn't this fun, listening to me stress out? I desperately need, oh my god, desperately need. Uh, a better sword. But, I should be able to get to Undeadburg uh, quickly. 
This is locked, right? Yeah. Pretty quickly this way. And then there should be a bonfire around here. Come here. Oh, crap. Ah. I'm timing it wrong. Oh, and that is how you do that. Yeah! Tears. Why tears? Give me some armor or something. I know I'm a... Uh, I don't remember what this class is called. Big old naked man. Okay, yeah, that happens. I forgot about that. Big freaking dragon just comes swooping by. Nah, it's peachy. Just gonna just just back off. Give me a sec. Give me a second. Dang it. Ooh, finally some armor. I will equip that now because even though I'm not particularly supposed to. Oh, it's legs. Heck yeah. I got something to cover my sweet butt. Hello? Hello? There's another pathway that goes over that way, but I need to kill this guy. There we go. And there's a bonfire. Thank God. And having reached this bonfire, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to continue playing this, and I'll see you in the next episode, if, if uh, you guys want. Bye, guys.